Fikayo Tomori has his sights set on the World Cup in Qatar. Fikayo Tomori enters the room with a bounce in his step. Unsurprisingly. It's been a memorable few weeks for the central defender having played an integral role in helping AC Milan win their first Serie A title since 2011 and earning an England recall for the nation's league fixtures against Hungary, Germany, and Italy off the back of his performances at the San Siro. Tomori's earned rave reviews since arriving in Milan, initially on loan 18 months ago. Gareth Southgate clearly likes what he sees. Enriched by his regular chats with Paolo Maldini and occasionally bumping into Franco Baresi, the former Chelsea defender appears to be on course for the World Cup. Obviously I speak to Paolo, he is there every day, said Tomori. He doesn't really say much, he leaves that to the manager, but sometimes we do have a little chat, and he asks me how things are going, and speaks to us defenders as a collective. I remember after the last game I saw Baresi which was kind of cool. Not just defenders, but you see different legends just flying about. Every time it happens you think, whoa, this is mad. And then, of course, there is Zlatan. He is 40. We have a good team and we knew we have a very good team, but if he wasn't in the squad then certain moments, when we were losing at halftime or not playing well, if he was not there, it would have been different, explained Tomori. He was always talking, before the game, walking up and down and talking, talking, and talking. He will talk to individual players and give them little bits of advice. Even if he was not on the pitch he would be talking like he was starting the game and motivating all of them. He was the only guy who had won with Milan, and he was like guys, if we win, be ready because it will go crazy. It would have been different with him not around. He played a big part. Plying his trade in defending spiritual home certainly agrees with Tamori. It helps, of course, that he's embraced Italian culture learning the language a key aspect behind his success. Nevertheless, his performances in Italy have been exemplary. The improvement in his game has been entirely noticeable, you don't become a regular in an AC Milan defense if you've underperformed. I think the way they are as defenders, I wouldn't say it's personal but it's like, I need to make sure what I'm doing is on the money and no one's getting past me no matter what. They have that pride to be like, I am the big defender, not in an arrogant way, but just in football terms of wanting to be the best they can be. Little things like the manager will tell me, make sure you are blocking a run, or make sure you are not allowing this to happen or getting contact in the box etc. Those little things happen. Being there and watching the likes of Benucci and Cellini, all these kinds of defenders, you see the things they do, and they are very streetwise. When I see that I want to try to put that into my game. Obviously they have been doing that for a very long time. But being in Italy you definitely pick up those little things and you see those little things that they do and the way they are. Looking ahead, Tomori can look forward to a reunion with AC Milan teammates Alessandro Florenzi, Davide Calabria and Sandro Tonali when England face Italy at Molyneux next week. Tomori felt England's heartbreaking Euro 2020 final loss to the Italians last summer more than most. I watched it in a hotel in Milan with one of my friends, I remember when they scored, I just had a face on and didn't want to look too down like we were going to lose," recalled Tomori. But as the penalties were going on, it was difficult to watch. I can't imagine what it would be like on the pitch. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. I was near the Duomo, so I guess in a way it was nice to see them celebrating. I was right in the middle of it, but I just got home as quickly as I could. Thinking about it, imagine if we were to win the Euros or the World Cup, how big it would be, it is definitely a motivation. Every footballer likes to win, but to see how a country reacts to it, it is something that motivates you. Hold that thought, Fikeo.